wished. He was everything to me, all my life. I think the only hint there's any you can find in Isabella rooms when that had A plus I inscribed on it. Oh my God, you're right. We Although we didn't know that Night Song's name was Aelin. Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? I mean, I've met you, so yes. Woo! Uh, certainly there's magic in a look. I certainly believe you're starstruck at least. So yeah, I mean, again, we don't, I, they, they keep saying Daughter of the Moon Maiden, and I'm I'm thinking they may literally mean that. Uh, Asimir are, um, Asimir are the same as sort of tieflings in a sense, in that tieflings have some fiendish blood, Asimir has some, have some divine blood in them. And so it could, it could literally be true. Again, it could be figuratively true, but I'm going to choose to believe that it may be literally true, which is why she had so much special power that Kethra can do all this crazy stuff with it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've met Asterion. Mm. I've met Nizora. Mm. Well, maybe that wasn't so much love at first sight, but anyway. That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal. Oh, so all. it's more of a Lord of Rings situation. I understand, it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. Or a vampire with a mortal situation. Suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then, and this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows, and then my father's face, so changed, so hideously warped. Yeah, he'd become the chosen of a miracle. Only a monster would rip his own daughter from the grave. Did he shout boo? Dude, dude, we are we're really gonna have to do a proper jerk-ass run. The problem is, and a proper jerk-ass run, like, would you even get to this point? Would Isabel be around? Would we have not killed the Night Song? Like, how how different would things be? Oh man, I gotta do at least two more replays of this freaking game. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna complete the next step of the story, right? Right? Of course, yeah. He'd become the chosen of miracle. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change like in him. One little curly he told beard. me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. Understandable, so you lied about who you were. I mean, I kind of want to say understandable. So you lied about who you were. So I'm going to say one because I'm like, yeah, no, I get it. I mean, you'd be like, oh, hey, everybody. I'm the daughter of the like fucking tyrant in this realm. But please accept me. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. I mean, stay as long as you want. Also, like, tell you what, we'll like, all like the random like tent material and all these things, we're gonna pull together and make you guys like a nice, a nice spot for your reunion. Like you deserve to spend some time together. Like, come on, in a hundred years. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Yeah, a diminutive. I completely agree. The problem with dirge runs is it feels to me you kind of need two, one for embracing it, one for battling it. And I do have a dirge run going on on my own. My, my current solo run that I've moved the most is a paladin who's trying to fight the dirge stuff. Um, you know, but I'm hoping there's a point where maybe it like falls over and changes because if you fight it too much, it actually just then so far, at first it was kind of interesting, but so far it's mostly just feeling like a normal good run at a certain point. So we'll see. But, and yeah, another one where, yeah, you just embrace it completely. Step closer. <laughs> Stay back, ready to defend yourself. No, but I mean, 
Step closer. I mean, Isabel doesn't mind. That's that's fine. Yeah. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. What is happening? Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. Are uh, my paladins still earth my oathbound? Mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Fuck yeah! Bless me! By the gods! Uh, couldn't have done it without you. I mean, I think we actually did a pretty good job, like, killing the boss in, like, two rounds or whatever. I'd taken gold over a prayer and a... Yeah, where... Yeah, where is the silver light? The moon magic? I was expecting... Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. Listen to the subtle vibrations of the moon maiden thumping within your heart chamber's friend. No, no, Carlac's done with the heart she chamber. She works her magic there. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Great deal I don't know about you I don't know. How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Yeah, man, for sure. A little great deal about you I don't know. Pray, ask, and I will tell. So is your mom really the Moon Maiden? Oh, it's literally option one. Are you really Saluna's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? Well, right now you mostly got that a bit of no like schmutz I all over you here. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against Dead Three? I mean, asking the real important questions right here. Why she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. I mean, I kind of brought so myself to your side. Okay, wonders, sure. Her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. She's so extra, but you know it's coming from like 100% belief and honesty, right? This is not a put on, so it kind of makes it okay. How did you become trapped in the Shadowfell? <sighs> Catherick Thorn. We've got an ad break coming in a second. Father I've snoozed it my once one and only to love. get through this. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. Catherick Thorn never did trust me. Even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel. By her love for me. When she died. Curse the day. The hour. We each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, emotion. Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed. Murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn. For oh. it and Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live. Oni, thank you very much for your two-year Twitch anniversary. <laughs> After all that, it's just like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going to go now. I really feel like we should have, like, like acknowledged that really impassioned speech, but sure. <gasps> Can we pet the us? Got to go. My parking time is out. Yeah. Friend, we are here for you. You may draw the wrong sort of attention if people see you by my side. You were keen to join me, don't you want? Oh, we we have we've seen these exact same conversations before. We will not cause you any trouble, friend. Wait, what? We will protect a different way. form that will cloak us from all but your closest acquaintances. Are you gonna look like a kitty cat or just you be invisible? And your friends shall see oh us my God! as we truly are. All others shall see a kitty, a small predator, 
Indigenous. Are the kids gonna want to pet this kitty? Because that's what they do with your familiar. And they are most cunning. They kitties can walk anywhere and they are most cunning. I mean, a hundred percent correct. A hundred percent correct. Absolute. The absolute does not care about us. And we do not care about the absolute. We are different. And we are saved. Friend! That's freaking phenomenal. Uh, all right. We are going to have a little chit chat with Jahira and Arabella. I like that they're near each other over here. And maybe we'll see if Withers has anything to say. But there is an ad break that is starting now. So we're going to let that run. And uh, I'm going to go and I'm done my tea. So I'm going to get myself a water. I'm going to stretch and everyone should do that. Hydrate, stretch. We'll be right back and we'll have some more chit chat with the people in the camp. Here be. Oh, I was going to put on sweater. Hold on. There we go. I wanted to hoodie myself. It's not, I don't think it's actually cold down here today, but I keep getting chills from the dialogue. And I'm like, you know what? I want to be, I want to be comfy in my, in my Rubik's Cube hoodie. Mmm, it's so cozy. Red vegetation looks like a lot of blood has been spilled on the campground. I mean, <laughs> could have. All right, ad break is on in two, one, perfect timing. We are back, let's talk to Jahira. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. In our multiplayer game, uh, she, she did not make it. Our multiplayer game has been like stupid cursed. That, that that one wasn't even because of anything we did. It just happened to be how the combat went. Hey, how you doing, Arabella? If Bowman says I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I just wish, I wish it was different. I wish Mom and Pops was here. Yeah, yeah, and we did find them. Uh, it hurts, I know, but you'll feel better in time. You've been so strong. They'd be proud of you. Well, they're not so you can quit 
you can quite your sniveling. Larian, come on, man. If you're going to have jerk-ass lines, at least make sure they're spelled right. You've been so strong, they'd be so proud of you. I don't feel so strong. Or anything, really. Just tired. Fate spins up. Dost thou require... No, no, we're all good. Um, I think that's a chat with everyone. At the doggo. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Absolutely. All those typos are in the lines no one wanted to use. <laughs> and we gotta pet the Albert, make sure it doesn't get jealous. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Pet the cup. All right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna keep the party as is. So I, I like I like my party for this run, at least for now. Unless we know for sure there's gonna be something that that is like a section coming up. Um, are they just standing around? All right. Like if I know that I'm going to Casador's Den, well, I was gonna say then I'll obviously I'll bring a staring. Well, I'm already bringing a staring. Oh, I wasn't expecting an exclamation mark right now. Okay. I've been lied to. Yes. My whole life. Yes. And well, I was not literally. Enough to just believe it. My it's parents are life. alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. We still don't know what her wound is. Whatever you must do, I'll be by your side. Dare suggest Shah may have had her reasons. No, you've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. You have a lot in your mind, and in it, but we have to stay focused. The absolute is still a threat. Um, I mean, obviously one is like, you know, the still flirty romantic option, but I don't think it'll be hard for us to do this, and I really like three. You've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. I really like that. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Mooches? Uh, what is that? Do whatever you need to. Should I be concerned? And what's that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. I'm a rush. Okay. Interesting. So do I just leave camp? I wonder where it's going to put us. Hope it doesn't put us straight into a fight. Because I because I don't want to buff now because like buffing everyone because we're not standing next to each other is annoying. So I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead with this. I don't think it'll put us directly into a fight. I'll just have to remember buff afterwards because I'm wondering, are we going to get a cutscene? The curse has been lifted. Got a heart. Half the she has to be at least 50. Shadows. Yeah, her parents have been missing Catherine's for four years. reign of living death is over. Oh! Your courage has been tested. Sparkles! At least you have triumphed. I wonder why we never got the camp scene with my other party. Because as soon as we clicked on transition, it went right to presumably what's about to happen next. And we did save the night song. Good job, Dal. I mean, as a druid, he must be very happy the land would, you know, restore itself to nature. I mean, everyone's going to be happy. That looks so goofy. I know, right? It's when he smiles. Oh, this is a good cutscene. So again, in our multiplayer game, we ended, like, basically right here. So I've technically seen this, but oh, so good. Oh, main reason for the camp scene is Shadow Hearts Revelation. Do you have her in an MP run? I mean, we've got her in our party, but we never adventured with her or anything. Never developed her, because, yeah. Sergeant, 
If you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the Flaming Fist than to run scared. I serve the Flaming Fist. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping. Yes, sir. No, sir. Rip and cut your throat, sir. Your plan Love is it. falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. I had that noticed on Monday Control that her, like, smoky him. tattoo stuff moves. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian oh, We know nothing about Orin yet. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Speaking of people being so extra. Tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you. I harvested a whole family of living flesh. That's her nethery stone. Where is, um, where's Gortash? I see it on him. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh, but tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. She has some, like, some Loki energy, you know, like L-O-K-I. Like Thor's brother. Yeah, so in multiplayer, when we when we transition, when we hit the, the zone transition, um, we saw that cutscene, and then we came here. <clears throat> Just making a meal of the scenery, and I'm here for it, right? It's the back of his right hand, okay. Yeah, not low-key, but low-key, yeah. I'm still so happy we put Dell in Shadowheart's clothes. Beyond the campsite. She looks fine in it. He looks fantastic. One sleep away. Like a kid waiting for Christmas. How many sleeps is it? Oh, all four of us are here. That's interesting. In a multiplayer game, for some reason, only three of us showed up in the, that cutscene. Although. Um, the person who wasn't visible was a halfling. So we're like, maybe we just couldn't see them. But we also had a gnome. The gnome was visible, so I don't know. Some wine. I'm not going to bother with that. Another step forward. Check these crates, but I'm not really expecting much. Some distance you. Also, in multiplayer, when we um, went to the elevator, the one that like leads down to the final fight with Kethrick, I was able to angle the camera properly to be able to see the nautiloids. I don't know why I couldn't manage it on Monday. Oh, it's my traveler's chest. Although it's not showing up. Wait. Oh no, this is not okay, this is not my my camp chest. These boxes don't usually have anything tremendous. More than um, the jugs. Should I talk to everyone again? Oh, you've got some free mugwort for me too. Pockets. Thanks. Shadowheart has found a oh. little bit of herself again. Saluna so cannot take all of the credit. She may have lit the way, but it is the cleric who took this step. I like that. Now that we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. 
Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Is it true you fought the dead three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. Yeah. And bad yeah. as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Should we walk into Baller's Gate with her in the party? Again, really trying to avoid too many spoilers or too much micromanagement as well, because there's going to be, you know, I'm sure there's some unique stuff with all the party members. And it's like so redundant to have her in a party with Del, but I'm like, I wonder if there's a cool moment. Fill your role as a wise and wizened elder. Please, you're only one of those things. Uh, careful there, which... Not all that old, are you? You seem reluctant to discuss the past. I don't know. No, I think for Dell, he's he's gonna go with three. What need? When it seems so intent on repeating itself. But stay this apocalypse, and I'll let you read my journals. Promise. Want to ask you something? Ask it. Do I? Oh, you mentioned you know something about elithids. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. Really? I felt the way they think. Saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then... I knew that. Who I'm am assuming I this is something you, you find out in Baldur's You have far too, more experience than I. Who are you speaking to? Maybe I'm the parasite puppeting this body. It's different this time. The Elder Valerian is a slave of itself. My mind is my own. I plan to keep it this way. I mean, that's certainly what he keeps telling himself. I believe you. You remind me of another I knew, marked by forces beyond their Her control. name! The gods can grant power or strip it away, but so long as your will remains... Her name is what the Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 community name. refer to as the main character. Just like in Baldur's Gate 3, it's Tav. A car name in like all caps is the, the generic filler name. I don't know if there's another like lore name. I mean, he's a ball spawn. He's like, I don't know. I say he because you're currently running a he in our run. Seems to really seems to be missing a line there, but I think it comes along later. Yeah, we'll save Shadowheart. I need Do another round of chatting. For the two Taken of from the light to be raised in darkness. There's name in the novel. Yeah, the official, like, the canon main character of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 is, like, human male you can retreat with back some generic name. The truth is finally dawning. Shadowheart can follow its light, or she can retreat back into dusk. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah. Merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. Ah, Lazelle's such an ally to, <laughs> to this situation. Like, she must have vengeance. Where's everyone else? Oh, way over there. Okay, well, let's talk to Shadowheart. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Well, there's the mirror, the magic mirror. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes, sometimes I wonder. I wonder why you went away, and I wonder. Painful truths have been thrust upon Shadowheart. I believe she is strong enough to endure. But her path will be right, Grand's Ward is another support. way to refer to him. Yeah. Abdel Aldrin, human fighter. Okay, that's the candidate. I'm glad we have Jahira traveling with us. Did you know her from before? Only by a reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. Mm. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Yeah, me too. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. 
She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. You know, I'm only just now realizing that two of our party members, like we could bring Halson and Jahir with us in a party. They would be there. They would neither one of them have a tadpole. Which probably means we also can't feed them more tadpoles. Oh, huh. you're an art shrewd. What could you possibly have left to learn from anyone? No matter how long I live, I will always I strive that to remain a yet. keen pupil. Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the grove? Controlled court? She would have beat the crap Perhaps out of Kaga. How we can benefit from her presence. She would have taken no ships. Work to a common goal. I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. What would you like to know? Don't take this the wrong way, but you're quite large for an elf. I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Any idea how that came about? Did you fall in a potion, a, a, um, a cauldron full of magic potion? Who's to say? <laughs> perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. How'd you become a druid? Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But... Eventually, I realized no one else had heard of him. Some sort of fake? It was Daniel, of course. Oh, Daniel! Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. That's good backstory. I kind of wish I'd come up with that kind of vibe myself for a D&D &D character before. Dang. Do you have people out there? Family? Friends? A lover, perhaps? I'm just asking. <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Oh! Trying this is the first time we heard the D word in this game. Secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now. Near the shade of the grandfather tree. The grove became my family. With Sylvanas as my teacher. And now I have you. Is that a theory about Hagrid before they knew he was a half-giant reference? No, it was an ob yeah, it was an obelix reference. Asterix and obelix. That's what it was. Um, I'm sorry for loss. You're better off with me anyway. You didn't answer my part about lovers. Settle down. Settle down there, Del. You have me? Let's not carry it away. Um, I guess I'm sorry for your loss. Although, like, you know. Yeah, I guess so. It was a long time That's ago. That's what I expected the answer was going to be. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. Armless buff now. Yeah, but it's all about that pose, right? So when you get in here, you put your hands underneath the arms just to like puff out the biceps a little bit more. Yeah, you didn't answer the part about. All right, I guess we're gonna go for it. You know what? I'm 350 years old. Of course, there have been lovers. Keep just hearing about this bear on bear scene. It doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though sometimes nature needs reminding. No. Oh. You know, is there someone in your life right now? Right now? I bed down alone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps once I talk less of curses and parasites, my fortunes will improve. Oh yeah, nature needs reminding of what exactly? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I didn't pick this scar up in battle. <sighs> I was in wild shape, only I forgot it was the season when bears are particularly social. <laughs> a she-bear claimed me as her own and did not appreciate being spurned. <laughs> yeah, let's turn to other matters. Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um, I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, 
I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. Okay there, Yogi. Uh, whittling, what do you make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. Who doesn't love a duck? Turn into a bear and you like honey a little on the notes. I like what I like. Once I mean, again, I'm named Delours, and I do bear things. Denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. <coughs> Thanks for sharing. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on, I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. Well, I'm something of a crafter myself. I live in mortal for fear of kraken, so I've never seen one. I don't think there's anything worth sharing. It would be fun. If they, I want more options here, but I'm going to go with option one. Well, they are fierce creatures. Relief the Quacken. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Now I'm getting flashbacks to Divinity Original Sin 2. Is that a... Was that a reference? Anytime. It might be. It might be. So I'm gorgeous enough. I don't need to use the magic mirror. Oh. Hey, Gail. What's up? The Absolute should be a thing of the past, and I with it. Yet, at the risk of angering Mr. Fervor, I'm glad it didn't come to that, given what has come to light. Wait a minute! Could I have the option to detonate Gale when the Absolute revealed itself, like when the brain floated up? Could I just detonate Gale then to kill the Absolute? I probably could have tried. It probably wouldn't have worked, because, I mean, it would have killed all of us, so it would have been game over. Like... Congratulations, you win. Game over. I really have to bring Gale with us next time. Gale and Will. All right. Um, yeah, what are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But more Del's not very smart. He's not wearing his The crown that he wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. Yeah, don't spoil so the encounter. So Sorry. I, I need to make it clear I when I'm asking questions and when I'm just... Most Chatting. Netherese artifacts contain only the mm -hmm. faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Also, who is the crown Surely built for? Everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril it's itself. Huge. But no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. <laughs> Nearly kill it. I mean. Didn't because you weren't there. Back up a little. Why is the crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain I bent mean, on destroying. Yeah, us it's pretty important, obviously. Everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature. Might not yeah, can eat the nether stone. Victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it. We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this I remember Sorcerer Canada. Sundries. Sorceress Sundry. I need to go there and learn all I can. So you want to go shopping? I'm going to do it. I'm going to be a little sassy. Book shopping? But yes. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. I mean, nethery sex are hardly Wait, commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. At least Shadowheart is armed with the truth now. May its keen edge draw forth whatever vengeance she desires. Yeah, let's go kill a god. Uh, I think I talked to Asterion on our way in here. The gate is closed. Oh. As is Casador. Ah, and we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. I mean, anyone would want to get you back, Asterion. Have you seen yourself? Oh, sorry. No mirrors. Uh, Anon Giles, thanks for the resub. 90 months. Thank you. Wow. Uh, any more lead? I think we should track down my fellow spawn. Mm. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them. We can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Where would the other spawn be? Unless Cazador's changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. We should get to them first. 
<laughs> then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Pretty tongues. So, it's a quest to free Shadowheart's parents, is it? And here I was, worried I'd be the only one with a difficult family reunion waiting in the city. How did you handle the devil in the mausoleum? Uh, we convinced him to kill all his buddies, and then we killed him. We couldn't convince him to kill himself. Another little area here. Oh, that's where Rithers hangs out on this map. Okay. With a bucket. Fate, dost thou require... No, we're all good. Okay, I think I can finally leave camp. I mean, we've been streaming for an hour and a half, and we haven't killed anything yet. What the heck? Wait. Oh, I guess I must have to complete the long rest. Although, we're all restocked here. I don't actually need to use any food. Chat again here, just in case. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. I did not mean to interrupt. Yeah, you should join my camp permanently. We can fight the powers of evil together. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. Yeah. You must face the chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. It's been a long century. Oh, I don't think either one of you are getting much rest tonight. And I don't blame you. Happy reunions, we'll leave you alone. Video on YouTube when Guy beats all three acts in level one. Wow. Oh! Okay, the events no food. of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension oh. the chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of mind flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the astral prison and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With her help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. I like a how we're getting a synopsis. Conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the dead three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Oh, because we're going to get three baubles. From their parasites and their religious delusions. Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? I hadn't even thought about that as a conclusion. Okay, man, I really got... Now I'm like, hold on. I might do, I might have to start over a completely different personal solo run with a very different vibe. Am I just talking to myself here? All I want is to be free of the parasite. I will do what's necessary to make that happen. I will succeed where the chosen will fail. I will dominate the world. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. I will free everyone of this evil. I will be the hero that saves Baldur's Gate. I feel like there, there's room for another thing, like, like, I don't want to do it just because I want to be the hero and, you know, I don't want to think, but I, I need to free everyone from this evil. Del is thinking at this point is not just about personally freeing himself from his brain. It's about feeling or from his brain worm, from freeing everyone. We're going to go with four, but. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. No, I literally just meditate. I don't. What? I need your help. Escape to the portal before the absolute takes control. Three turns remaining. Her voice commanding. Uh, D6 psychic damage per turn. Affected into his brain is being tortured at the whim of the absolute. Receives a minus one penalty to intelligent wisdom, charisma, uh, abilities, and takes D6 psychic damage at the end of its turn. 
I mean, I'm only controlling four people here. I mean, I'm hoping it's implied that everyone else is going to be escaping with us at the same time. It's very mind barrier. Having simulated splinter of Gizray knowledge, mental barrier has been wrecked, affected in his mind. Huh. So, I mean, our buffs are going to get reset regardless. <clears throat> Zeph, how come you've got some damage? Why aren't you at full health? None of them are at full health. Are you agents of the absolute, or are we just happen to be getting attacked? Well, they open this portal. They open this portal to attack us. We're going to use the portal to escape coincidentally all at the same time. Shall we dance? I'm not sure I understand the plot that's happening right here, but okay. All right, I think. Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to do some stealthy, stealthy stuff with the Staring here. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drop 100 mark on this fella over here. And beat the crap out of him. What is the, this? is just like the freaking encounter where we pop the mind flares out of those pods to say um, Zevran, Zevran and stuff like that. Two misses at 88%. Sure. Why not? Well, that is terrible. I mean, I'm generally going to want to move forward here. Okay. I can't even catch my breath. I think Dell. Do we the haste things? You know what? Yeah, I, I wanna. I'm gonna go in haste Carlac. Because the other thing is I could owl bear and then jump on to these two here. But let's go with plan. Haste Carlac. And then I don't really want to be in a place where I'm gonna get interrupted too much and lose concentration. But it's really not the end of the world. No, you know what? Because we're still going to do the Owlbear jump next turn. So I'm just going to go and move to an area that's kind of out of the way. And next Good turn, idea. we'll Owlbear move here, do a leap. That's going to be fine. Okay. Spill some blood. And we're just going to spread here in case they AoE us somehow. Die, you naked harborer! Oh yeah, we're gonna have to succeed in these concentration checks from the psychic damage, which is annoying. Yeah. Don't micromanage or spoil too many things in chat here. Because if things go badly, that can be fun and entertaining to see. Flurry of Boast. My uh, staring in my personal game is a Shadow Monk. Uh, Shadow Monk uh, Rogue. And I'm having so much fun with that build. All right. Rage. Let's do some hasted rage damage. Um, yeah, we're good with this. I guess it could be doing other things. So that's two seventy five. I know it said fifty percent, but we got advantage, so that's two misses at seventy five percent. Three misses at seventy five percent. I'm gonna leave him on the ground. Four misses at seventy five percent in one round of combat. I mean, seriously. What should I do? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hold back on stuff, especially since we are on a timer and because things started so badly. Just keep these guys. Attack here because you'll have advantage. 
My effing gods. What the heck? Come quickly. I can't do this without you. Hey, we gotta get our ass over the... What the frack, man? 